Hey guys, it's Camus and another edition of Chess Beauty, number 50 as a matter of fact. We left you with this position. This is from Bland Ford, 1949, and it's white to play and win. So take a look, have a go. All right, so this is another one of these deceptively simple positions. Um, it seems like it's going to be a relatively easy win for white, but he has to be very careful here. Uh, no points for the first move. Bishop to d4 check. It's pretty much the only move on the board. We uh, check and get a tempo for our pawn. So now black plays king to a8 here. And he's got a stalemating idea. If he comes forward, he's just simply lost. The, the pawn is going to queen without any problem. Mainly because it, the knight is always going to be one square, excuse me, one move behind the pawn. As you'll see, after c4... Knight to d2, attacking it, c5. Knight to b3, attacking it again, c6. And now, of course, knight to d4 doesn't work because we just queen without any difficulty. So, after c6, knight to a5 instead, c7. And now, black has an amazing resource. He has knight to c6. And this is a strong move because... If white's not careful, he's not going to win this game. Uh, mainly due to, say, for instance, king takes c6, stalemate, so that's no good. And queening's no good either because knight to b8 and any king move leads to stalemate, like king to c7, for instance, any of the other king moves. So uh, that's no good. And so uh, what can we do here? Well, we can't do anything. That's the end of that variation. So uh, instead, if he tries after knight c6, if he tries bishop c5, then knight to b8, check. And if we take, let's say, if we play king to d6, king to b7 is a draw because we're, black is controlling the queening square. And king to c8, knight to a6. He's going to take that pawn. After knight to b8, king to e7. King to b7, same as the other variation. King to e6, king to b7. You get the idea. And finally, if we take, then that's just a, a plain draw. So... After knight c6, uh, bishop moves don't work either. Um, so what is the solution? Well, the solution is an under promotion. And you had to see this to solve the problem uh, properly. Uh, black only has uh, one sensible move here. Well, I suppose you could go to, uh, to a7. He's lost in any, any event. Uh, after king to b7, we just take the rook, and uh, that's no problem to mate there. The only other uh, try he has, which is a little trickier to see, is that, that after uh, after the under promotion, he could play knight to b8, check, king to d6, king to b7, rook to c7, check, king to a6, king to d5, king to b5. These are, This is Ribka's best line. Uh, rook to b7. And the knight is dropping. Uh, and we're going to mate in a few moves anyway. So no problems there. I hope you enjoyed this study. And I hope you enjoyed this series of studies. Um, I'm going to take a break from the Chess Beauty series for a couple of months at least. Probably come back and probably emphasize problems a little more. We only had a few problems. I wanted to do problems and studies. It turned out that studies are easier for me to prepare and to explain and also, it was easier to find good studies, whereas it's not easy for me to find good problems. I, I don't enjoy a lot of problems because of the unnatural positions. It has to have uh, an interesting theme or something beautiful about it for me to, to like chess problems. Uh, studies are much more enjoyable. But, but there are many great problems, and so uh, I, I will attempt to feature those when I come back. So in the meantime, I'm probably going to start another... Uh, chess series of brief videos. I like this brief format because I don't think it's uh, addressed uh, by other producers on the forum so much. Uh, most videos tend to be longer. And uh, so 
I'm casting around for a few ideas. I thought maybe I would investigate uh, some openings, opening gambits, like brief intro to some coffee house gambits. Uh, much to my shame, I'm a big fan of coffee house bluff bluff at chess. Um, or maybe uh, do a series on chess traps in the opening that could be interesting. I don't know. If you have any ideas, uh, let me know. And uh, I want to thank you all for your supports and your comments and your likes and stars over the, uh, the several months I've been doing this. And uh, that kept me going. So thanks very much. And we'll see you on the fun way. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.